All right. Um, let's get this thing. Um, yeah, okay. This is my micro transceiver, four band ultra portable USDX transceiver that uh, has four bands built into it that have low pass filters. 10, 15, 20, and 40 meters. It will also transmit on 80 and 160 and other bands, but they don't have low pass filters. So anyway, um, I got to do a little bit, a minor rant here. When I uh, started looking at this thing, I got on YouTube and I found, I said, I found two, two outfits on YouTube, Tech Mines and Ham Radio Crash, Crash Course, that reviewed, well, Tech Mines reviewed this one. This is an internal battery, and it has four bands. And Ham Radio Crash Course, same radio, but shorter, no internal batteries, and it's labeled as a three-band, three-band, not a four-band. Anyway, I, I went through their videos. They did a good job. A lot better than what you're hearing here. You, you know, these guys are pros. Me, no. They got good cameras. Me, no. So, um, anyway, Tech Mines, Matt from Tech Mines, he does an, a transmitter audio test. And, you know, it was sketchy. I mean, it was, it was bad. I had the warning. And um, um, Ham Radio Crash Course. Um, he starts out, he likes it, and then he starts listening to it and doing some other things, and he says, don't buy it. Don't buy it. He did say that it's a toy, and it is. It's a toy. And this is not my everyday radio, and he also recommended, and I, I, <laughs> I agree with him, uh, if this is your first ham radio, if you're a brand new ham radio operator and you're looking for your first radio, don't get this. Matter of fact, be careful about anything that's, uh, yeah, <laughs> anything like this at all. Um, there's got this. I did a, I, I did a YouTube video, and I, I promised I was going to show you how to work the controls. And then the next day, I started to do that, and the transmitter went up in smoke. Yeah, a little. It. Uh, I found a glitch in the software. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. But anyway, it doesn't transmit anymore. I'm in communications with the seller from China on eBay. Um, it, it was advertised on eBay as returns accepted. And we're kind of working on that. I'm not going to ding anybody. I haven't, uh, haven't done all the communication stuff. Um, but anyway, it's defective. It doesn't transmit now. Yes, the... You know, I, I understood that there were some software glitches, but uh, I found one. If you put it in the CW mode, and then you go to the mode selection for the menu selection, menu selection for the keyer, and you turn on the iambic, iambic keyer with no pushing the PTT button, with no keyer hook, key hooked up to it, it just starts transmitting. And yeah, I kept doing that before I could get it turned off. I was looking at it and smoke came out and then it quit transmitting. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. But anyway, enough of that rant. Um, let's see. Let's let's start with this is how to how to work your radio. Start with you got to turn it on to turn it on. There is a power and PTT button. This button turns it on. And it comes up. Um, if you need to turn it off, you need to you need to push and hold this wavy wheel. This is a thumb thumb wheel. You need to push and hold it down, and you need to turn it down. See how the volume's going down to one. And I need to go. I okay. One to a three. Hold it down again. When it goes to minus one, it turns itself off. Yeah. Hopefully you saw that okay. So anyway, let's go through the menu. And these buttons, they're, they are a little difficult to push. There's no tactical feel to them. Um, not the best. Uh, I would, if you're going to get one of these things, and remember, it's a toy. <laughs> and, um, if you want to play with this thing, 
get a hand mic with a PTT button because this is if and I'm not even sure supposedly there's a mic here jack and then you got your phone and you got your TTL for downloading firmware which I haven't really seen much of um, anyway let's turn it back on so we can watch go through the menu stuff okay it's on you, you want to go through the menu you push the menu button once once and see that uh, volume and it's showing what the volume is set at plus 10 now there's no arrow key it, see this bottom readout has a plus 10 there's no arrow key as long as there's no arrow key I can move around I can see volume is menu 1.1 1 .1. next one is uh, mode AM FM CW all that stuff and you got uh, filter I keep I keep moving it with my thumb here tune rate VFO mode AB RIT AGC oh yeah AGC kind of has a firmware issue it likes to um, when you don't have it hooked up to an antenna it, or you get or you're listening to a weak signal the AGC tries to increase the gain until it becomes a microphonic and it makes a, a weird noise and um, if you put it in fast that that cycling of the AGC isn't as bad but it's still there um, anyway you can you can choose all kinds of modes and I'm not going to go through them right now it's set up for straight key anyway let's go back see if we can duplicate okay let's say I want to change the volume so I don't want to turn it off I hit the menu button again because right now the thumbwheel is just going through all the different modes the menu mode menus not modes menus let's say I want to hit the volume so I hit the so I go to volume and I hit this menu thing again now I got an arrow plus 10. Now I can just turn, yeah, that's the AGC. Yeah. Uh, so turn it down. And I add, that's, so 9, 10 is about the cleanest for the audio. Okay, and then I hit this again, and it's back to the VFO mode. And whatever the tuning rate is set at, uh, you can tune tune this guy. Oh, yeah, and it's full of birdies. I don't have an antenna hooked up or anything. Yeah, there's a birdie. So... You like birds? Well, this has got them. You know, maybe you got a cockatiel, a parakeet. Anyway, uh, look, at, let's go back. Let's go to mode CW mode. So let's find mode AM. There it is. I can't hurt it anymore. FM CW. Okay, we're in CW. Now, oh, it's it's got a great um, CW reader. That, it, that thing works good. And when you hook it up to an antenna, it's not hooked up to anything, but um, I had good results with that. I that's probably the, the really key point of this little radio. So let's, uh, we're in CW. Let's do this mode thing again menu thing again and let's go to the keyer
Yep, that right. CW Care. On. CW Speed. Care Setup. Off. Let's turn it on. There it goes. Now it's transmitting. I'm not doing anything. Yeah, and it killed itself. I did that and smoke started coming out. Let's turn it back off. Turn it off. Darn light. Okay, so now we're going to have to shut it off to get out of this thing. Hold it down. Okay, it won't even shut off the normal way. Now there is a, there is a, a way to shut this thing off without doing the thumb wheel press down, screw around thing. You can take the charger that comes with this thing. You take out the charge adapter and you you plug this in into the power port. You plug it in. And I'm trying to hold this and plug it in. This isn't working. I'm going to put this. Anyway, yeah, there. It shuts it off. Shuts it off because this is only a, a five volt source and you plug this in and it interrupts the battery. And if the battery gets interrupted, it shuts off, which is fine. Uh, you can probably plug in an, anything into it. Yeah, I can. Anyway. Um, yeah, this is a toy. <clears throat> it's not very useful. Expect problems. Um, I'm, I kind of still want to keep it. <laughs> um, I'd rather have the seller send me another one. Or if they don't want to do that, they can just refund my money. And uh, I'll send it back to them. Um, hopefully I don't have to get eBay involved if I uh, can't make good with the seller and uh, and if I get stuck with it I'll, I'll give them a bad review and I'll make a complaint with eBay and and see what happens um, and I'm able I'm an electronic technician retired I'm able to work on stuff like this. I've got even some surface mount equipment for I, I pretty know what's sure what's wrong with it. The the final or finals are, are taken out. I haven't taken it apart but um, because I, I've had many years of electronic experience. I used to be a commercial radio telephone licensed um, technician from the government. Um, anyway, yeah, you know, for me, I, it's, it's no big deal. I can, I, I, I like working on puzzles and this is, this is one of them. But if, if you don't have a lot of surface mount background with you and you, you don't like getting that involved with the electronics, um, yeah, you, you, you might want to. Unless you're like me and you just want a little toy and it's, you know, this thing was $120.60 shipped with tax. So, anyway, bye for now.